Is it rolling? Go. This right here is our very first at home workout. Coronavirus, you know what's going on. Everybody's working out at home doing body weight stuff. Well, I have right here workouts for you. Not just basic burpees and mountain climbers all the time. I also have for you right here Paige. She's going to be my client. She's going to demonstrate the exercises. I also have 90s hip hop playing in the background. And I have a towel that we're going to use, my Australian towel that I got when I went to Australia. This is all you're going to need. Just a towel, and that's it, on the ground. So we're gonna start this workout with some mobility action right here. So first off, let's get into a push-up position. What I want you to do, I want you to follow along, and I'll show you a couple set or a couple reps, and then you can pause the uh, video and then just keep going at your own pace. So what we're gonna do right here is a groiner. Let's put your left foot to the left side of your left hand, now in here, you're gonna push your hips all the way down to the ground. Kind of bounce up and down, feel that stretch in your inner thighs like that. Look up towards the ceiling and then kind of move side to side. What I want you to know is that stretching is never a one dimensional exercise. Stretching is always three dimensional, so you wanna get that hip capsule all the way opened up. Now you're gonna bring that foot back, switch sides of course. Now you're gonna do the exact same thing, uh, up and down like that. Now, coming back from there, getting into a push-up position, she's gonna bring her butt all the way up and down. And let's move her butt all the way back, almost like downward dog. Feeling in your hamstrings right there. And then bring it all the way to the front, looking up towards the ceiling. So what I like to do is in this position right here, you look up towards the ceiling, you get all that spine, you curve your spine up and down, get the blood flowing, and then really exaggerate it. Look through in between your feet when you come all the way back down right here. Now this is also gonna stretch your lats. This real quick is a mobility flow. Now, let's move on to the next one. Next one is a uh, bridge. You're gonna lay down on your back. Not everybody's gonna be able to do the next one, but here's how it goes. You push your hands right here above your shoulders, and what I want you to do, first off, put your hands right here by the side of your head. Yeah, you're good right here. And then get your butt off the ground. So push the heels. If this is all you can do, cool, just do this. If you can go all the way up, like that, then do that. If you can establish this over the next however long we're gonna be in this quarantine, then that would be really good for your spine. Just move it up and down a couple times and that's it. So, that's the mobility part of this workout. Two exercises. Now up next, we're gonna move into upper body. We're gonna do a push-up pocket tap. So, uh, we actually don't need the towel. Yeah, you don't need the towel. Just get into a push-up position. You get into your hands and toes. Regular push-up position. Now, not all push-ups are created equal. 80% of all push-ups are pretty mediocre because bad push-ups is where you put your hands all the way to the front and then you just basically bob your head up and down or yeah, something like that. You know, just, yeah, something like that. So just put your hands a little more towards your feet. All right, cool, everything is straight. A bad push-up is also when this is all curved right here. Yeah, so like that. So you wanna make sure everything is straight from your shoulders to your heels, all one straight line. Coming down with a push-up, you wanna curl your elbows towards your ribcage and then fast up. Boom, straight up. Now don't let your uh, chest come up first, bring your butt up first. So come down, butt up first, boom, straight up. Now what we're gonna do right here is a push-up pocket tap. So you come up in a push-up, have your right hand touch your right side of your pocket. The yeah, pocket right there, so the right side of your hip, where you put your keys, there you go. And then come back down, and then come back down left side, pocket tap, right there. Try to keep that arm straight, bam, tap yourself right there. Let's go for about 10 times each side. Now, after that, you're going to keep doing upper body. We have a side to side push up hold. Uh, are you okay? Yeah. This is good, you took your pre-workout. <laughs> Let's get into a push up position right here. From there, you can take a break or you can go straight into this one. This one is very, very tough. Come down into a push up position and you hold that right there. Put your hands and feet really wide and your hands as well. Yeah, right there. Now I want you to come a little higher and then shift your body side to side like that, all the way side to side. Bring your butt a little higher, bring your butt a little higher, this is all stomach right there. You're not seeing it because she's wearing a jacket, but she's working her triceps big time. She's also shaking a lot, which is not, probably not gonna be able to see that through your video. But uh, yeah, there we go. Um, that's a good one for your abs and your triceps, and where are you feeling it? Just say everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere? yeah, good. <laughs> all right, up next, let's upper. Let's go to lower up next, now lower. I know, I said, we only need a towel, but you know what, we also need a chair, actually. Do you have a chair in your home? Good, then you can do the, this next workout, which is very simple, you okay? Yes. Single leg sit down. Uh, so just basically sit down, 
Let me show you something first real quick. Let me, let me, show, let me show you something real quick. Here's what I want you to understand about basically standing up. When you sit down and you stand back up, you usually lean to the front when you stand up, right? Now, this right here is your power position right here. This is your most powerful position for when you're squatting. You're kind of bending over to the front. Straight up, if you have a barbell on your neck or something like that. Now, the same thing applies for a single leg sit down. You come up, or actually, let's have the page demonstrate. You just sit down right here. Put one foot up in the air. All right, now just kind of sit down, but lean to the front. It's okay for you to bend over a little bit. That's gonna make it a little bit easier for you to do this exercise. Coming up, right there. Now, very important, quick tip, push through the outsides of your feet and push to your heel. It's coming down and then boom, explode up, squeeze your butt. 10 to 12, each side right there. Now, up next, we're doing a single leg glute bridge, uh, laying down, let's get the towel again right here. Laying down on your back and you can use the chair. I guess you can use the chair. Just laying down right here on your back. If the, I'll hold the chair right here. You put your feet right here on the, on the chair. Let's get one foot up in the air like that. Try to lock it out, point your toes straight towards you. you put your hands by your hips. And then, and she, she's not wearing uh, shoes right now, but that's fine. You push through the outside of your foot. Whenever you push, you wanna push through that, kind of that fleshy part of your foot, driving it all the way up and down. Now, with this one, I'll usually say about 10 to 12 reps per exercise. This one, because it's your butt, your butt is a little more of a high maintenance muscle. Your butt is like, your butt needs a lot of attention. So you always need to do a little more reps on your butt. This one, do double the amount of reps. If you did 10 on everything else, do 20 on this one right here. Straight up, straight up, straight up. You can also hold it at the top, whatever you prefer. So that was legs right there. Now, how are we gonna finish off? With abs. Still real simple. We're gonna use a towel for this one actually. You're gonna get to a push up position with your feet on the towel. So hands on the ground and then feet on the towel. Yeah, right there, keeps your legs straight. You guys all recognize this one from uh, SUF, V-Ups. So you're gonna slide those feet all the way towards you and then slide it back down. There you go, cool. Straight up, there you go, cool. Now you're gonna feel this in your abs, obviously. You're also gonna feel it in your lats. We all know the drill on this one. Straight from there, we're gonna lay down on your back and go into, lay on your back, so again, to sprinter sit-ups. The sprinter sit-ups is a violent movement, almost like a kettlebell swing. Um, you're gonna get your feet off the ground, heels are off the ground. See how she's flexing her legs a little higher? Yeah, this is, this is really hard to do, guys. Uh, get your feet off the ground, a little bit higher, legs up. Perfect, now push your hands by your temples, so by the side of your head right there. She's gonna come up violently, have the right side, there you go, right side of your elbow touch your left knee, left side of your elbow touch your uh, right knee. Try to, when you come up, really look all the way to 90 degrees that way. All the way 90 degrees that way, faster. Fast, explode. Keep those hands by the side of your head. See how she's separating her hands a little bit from her head? Try to keep your hands glued to your head. Fast, fast. Bring that knee in. So fast, even faster. That's why it's called the sprinter sit up too, because it's fast. All right, cool. All right, good, let's stand up. That right there was, that's it. Exercise number one for your coronavirus crusher workout. Do this at home. Two, three, four sets, 10 reps, 15, 20, 25 reps. It's all good. Now, up next, this, these exercises are built for strength. So if you're, if you're breezing through this, slow down the reps, check your form, and hey, do me a favor, or do yourself a favor, do this with your whole family, and stay tuned for Coronavirus Crusher Workout number two, coming soon.